Now, starting with Syria, the army there has entered Al Yaduda Township in the country's southern province of Dara after 10 years. The army reportedly entered the area with Russian troops. According to local media, the entry followed a Russian brokered surrender deal with militants that came into effect on September the 1st. The deal allowed the army to take control of the strategic Dar al Balad and gave residents an opportunity to return to their homes. Under the agreement, the militants must either leave the area or surrender their firearms if they choose to remain. Russia mediated the deal after weeks of tensions between the army and the militants. Dar al Balad was the last stronghold of the militants in southern Syria. Now let's get some more information regarding this. So we'll go to Damascus. Uh, Mohammed Ali, our correspondent, uh, definitely knows more about this. Uh, Mohammed, what do you have to uh, tell us and add to this information? Yes, the Syrian army this morning entered uh, El Yadude uh, town, uh, which is about seven kilometers uh, northwest of the uh, city of uh, Dara uh, itself. Uh, of course, for years uh, uh, the Syrian army. Uh, was not able to enter due to the present due to the presence of uh, uh, armed groups inside. But now uh, it seems that a peaceful deal uh, has been reached, similar to the one uh, that was reached several days ago in uh, Dara al Balad, which is a larger, of course, uh, area. And it seems that uh, uh, this indicates that there is just this uh, kind of trust now between those armed groups and the Syrian uh, government. Uh, this is for the first time being seen over there uh, in those parts of uh, Dara'a, the Syrian army entered. A reconciliation center uh, has been opened. Over 40 armed men uh, uh, headed to that center uh, for reconciliation and for surrendering uh, their arms. And similar to the Dara'a al-Balad deal, the Syrian army will perhaps establish checkpoints to ensure security and stability over there. Now, this deal was not a surprise because after the Dara'a al-Balad deal was reached, the notables of the western countryside of Dara'a sent messages to the Syrian government that they are willing to engage in a similar deal uh, to the one that happened, of course, uh, in Dara'a al-Balad. And it is expected that more and more villages that are under the control of armed groups over there in the countryside of Dara'a will follow uh, uh, those areas of Dara'a al-Balad uh, and uh, al yadudi Definitely, this is very important uh, economically speaking. This would ensure uh, the safety of a route between uh, Syria and uh, Jordan uh, for trade exchange, economically speaking. This, is, this will also give a, a chance for all of the residents in southern Syria to go back to normal life. It will give them a chance to rebuild uh, the areas that were affected by uh, the uh, war for 10 years over there. So definitely this is important for all sides, for the residents and for even the armed men who reconciled. They will have a chance to live their normal life back again. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very important uh, deal and more will be following according to reports on the ground. And hopefully the same will happen elsewhere in Syria. Thank you very much for that, Mohammed Ali, our correspondent in Damascus.